still helpless. I don't have a mama either, but I understand him. Chauvin trial witness Charles McMillan broke down on the stand last week while describing the day that George Floyd died. His emotional testimony captivated the courtroom and many of the people watching. And now there's an effort to help McMillan get some closure of his own. Here's Fox 9's Bab Santos. It's been hard watching what I've seen and going home at night dealing with that and waking up in the morning dealing with it. In a moment that's changed the world forever, Charles McMillan was one of the last people on this earth to see George Floyd alive. I blame myself because I couldn't do nothing. Get up and get Mama, in the car right. I can't. Last Wednesday, Charles took to the stand. C-H-A-R. Sharing his experience before a jury in the trial of former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin. Oh my. Uh, they said grown men don't cry. Yes, we do. I feel helpless. I don't have a mama either. But I understand him. I'm drained. I had a whole weekend just to think about everything went on. But the trial and the emotion about my mom. Charles lost his mother, Queen McMillan, four years ago to complications caused by diabetes. On Monday, a GoFundMe page surpassed its $5,000 goal to help Charles find closure. It would be spent on traveling for me and I have a 12-year-old son. Charles' 31-year-old son has seen the last year change his father. No one's ever the same after you watch a man pretty much beg for his life in front of you. I mean, he's yelling, they're killing me, they're going to kill me, and evidently they did. He started the GoFundMe to help his dad on his journey to closure to Aberdeen, Mississippi, his mother's final resting place. Now I want to go get on my knees and pray you know, to my mom. The family says the rest of the money will go to a therapist, something they're especially thankful for after the past week. In Minneapolis, Bab Santos, Fox 9.